Hello and welcome to the Server of Joy. And I am Tim today, and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up and play on a Tekkit server with the Technic Launcher. Um, we're doing this because we are embarking on our own Tekkit adventure, and we thought it'd be cool to show you how to do it so you can do it yourselves. So what you want to do is make it make your way to uh, technicpack.net forward slash launcher. The link will be in the description to this. If you're on Windows, you want to click on the EX version and download that. If you're on Mac, you want to uh, download the Mac version. And the JAR version is for uh, ones where the extension doesn't want to work for your laptop. If, you, uh, if that is the case, then just download it, put it in a separate folder, run the JAR, and then it should work from there. But it uh, should work if you just download the EX version. So you want to just click on that, and it will start to download. But I've already got one. But download it anyway uh, and what you want to do then is you have a little launcher here that you want to drag it to your desktop so you sure you know where it is so you click on that it will usually update quite a lot and it will start um, there's various different mods that you can have on vanilla hack mine voxel yogbox tech it and technic I'm gonna put on tech it because that's the one that we're currently doing for our videos and in my opinion it is the best one just because it has the most amount of mods installed so if you log in, it will start to uh, mine. I already have the jars and stuff like that, so it won't take as long. But yours, for the first time when you click on any of the mods, it can be tech it, it's up to you. Um, it will take roughly about two to five minutes to download everything and install everything. And obviously as I've already done it, I don't have to worry about that. But So tech it is now open. I can play single player with all the mods and stuff like that already installed. Uh, the next step is the server. So, oh, yeah, sometimes my crashes. Hang on a second. Right, okay. Um, all right, yeah, so you want to go to your technicpack.net forward slash techit, and once again, the link will be in the description. And you want to click on here, this server. Just click here, and it'll start downloading the server. I've already done that, and it's quite a hefty thing, so I'm not going to bother downloading it again. So once you've downloaded it, you want to bring it to your desktop or something like that, just so you know where it is. Uh, you want to create a new, oh, create a new folder. I just do mine on my desktop again, just so I don't lose it. Uh, drag the zip file into that folder. If you're using WinRAR, just extract here, and it will extract everything you need. Uh, you can get rid of the ticket zip as everything's already extracted. Launch, just like a normal bucket server, it will start loading everything, adding all the materials, adding all the mods, installing everything for you so you don't have to do a thing. It's brilliant. Obviously then it will start doing the spawn area. But in the meantime, whilst that's loading up, you still need to be able to port forward, obviously, unless you're using Hamachi server. But port forwarding is still the best way to do it. So I'm just gonna go through port forwarding quickly, just so people can connect. So what you need to do is go to CMD, as I just showed you, which go CMD. Um, and go IP ooh, config up the top here will be your default gateway. You want to type that into your uh, browser 192.68.0.1 and log in. Default password's admin password, but if you changed it, then just log in. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible because I want to make it a really short video because tech is quite simple to set up. Obviously, I have all of my port forwarding that I've already done before. Unless you've done it before, you won't have any of this. You want to try and find something along the lines of services. Each port forward is going to be different. You want to add a custom service, name it whatever. I'm going to call it TechIt. You want it TCP UDP. Uh, the start port is, let's just do it default, 255565. Obviously, there's lots of different ones, 777, 25566, 2620. Uh, but, and then you click apply. Mine won't let me do that because I've already made one. But then you'll have a, uh, this will obviously say tech it for you and port 25565. And then you want to find something along the line of firewalls. You want to add a new firewall, select the one that you just made. Obviously I didn't make one. Uh, but then you want to put your uh, IPv4 address into this little bit here. Uh, 02, and then apply. Uh, if when you start your server and it doesn't show up on your Tekkit launcher like in the multiplayer bit You want to come to here first and check out that your IPv4 address hasn't changed because this changes
because it's dynamic uh, to the relation where you are in your house. So you want to change that just in case uh, it's not working. And then apply and you'll have port forward and set up. That was very quick. Okay, so hopefully it's all done. Yes, okay, so let me just stop this for a second. And then you have all of your files uh, in here. You don't have to mess with anything, it's all set up for you. If you want to mess with something, obviously you can fiddle around with the different mods that are in here, put more mods in. But when you start messing around with the mods in here, you also have to mess around with the mods in your TechIt launcher client. But if you literally just want to play TechIt with Buildcraft, Industrialcraft, all their mods, just leave it. That's what we do. It's fun. Server, obviously properties in here. You can change the name and just like that of any other normal server or bucket server. So just to show you that it works, you want to launch. Uh, I'm going to go into TechIt. You want to find out what your IP is. What is my IP? I can't see it because Tech Launch is in the way. There we go. Okay. Uh, then go into Tech It or any other one. They all all the mods will work with this default server here because they're all built in. So it's very handy. You don't have to add or uh, remove mods to make it work. It all works. Uh, then. Oh, damn it, mine's going to crash again. No, it's not. Okay, you want to go into multiplayer, just like Minecraft, and I've already got mine in there, but obviously just add a normal server like you would. Like that. Oh, I haven't put a port, but whatever. Uh, and then you would just want to join. And because it's tech it, obviously, and there's a lot more mods and stuff like that, it's going to take a time to load in. But then you have your server all set up and done. Uh, so, yes, that was a very, very quick uh, tutorial. I hope it helped people because uh, TechIt is awesome. Uh, so have fun playing that. Uh, you've been watching the server joy, and goodbye.